avant-garde teacher here. Today we're going to create a digital newsletter. Quick links, easy storage, no copies. And if you like this video, click like and subscribe. Woohoo! This video is rated E for everyone. Through this video, you'll need Google Slides and your favorite URL to your favorite links. First, we're going to need to custom the layout. So go to File, click on File. You'll go all the way to the bottom and click on Page Setup. Click the drop down, and we're going to custom the page. So click on Custom and make it eight and a half, 8.5 by 11. Click apply. Now remove the current text boxes and then we're going to add our banner. So click on the text box icon and we're going to drag it to add our banner at the top. Now darken the border to size 8. I am adding three text boxes for communication under the banner and then darkening to border size 8. You can add your own style to fit your content areas. Check below for a link to different newsletter templates. Don't forget to title your presentation. Title it Newsletter Template because later we're going to copy it and make it the actual newsletter. But we're always gonna save a template. Okay, it's time to customize our banner. We're gonna customize our banner like our virtual classroom. So search image, and you're gonna choose a wall-to-floor background. Now if you want a detailed description of how to do the banner like your virtual classroom, see the links below. I'm going to speed ahead. To allow you to save your template, make a copy. Click File, click Make a Copy, click Entire Presentation, rename your presentation to Newsletter. Take a screenshot using your grab tool of your newsletter. Then add a blank slide. Set your background of the blank slide as your newsletter. By clicking Background, click Choose Image, click Upload, and click on the newsletter screenshot you took. Doing these steps will lock your banner images in place. Now delete the first slide with the movable images. Next, add text boxes to any areas you want to add text. Make sure to include a place for the date. Go and use your text box and type in your date and make sure to include some way to number your newsletter. I use the word episode in this example. This way, your parents can always go back to previous published newsletters if they need to refer to something. Your newsletters are a great way to hyperlink assignments in Google Classroom or through Schoology. And we are almost done.
to add your URL or hyperlink text, you'll want to type your text in, highlight your text, click the paperclip icon, paste your URL, and click apply. See below for some links I hyperlink. We finished! This is a finished newsletter. Now let's look at the newsletter after we've done several different episodes. And see, voila! You can search for anything that you've missed. You have your newsletters with the most recent copy at the top. Now here's the template that I was telling you about that's linked below. Feel free to click on this. It will make you make a copy and save it to your Google Drive. And you can go ahead and custom your newsletter. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.